Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Srivastav and today I am discussing a very important and very interesting SQL problem. So, my requirement is I need to identify the last not null value. Okay, so let's understand this. Let's say we have a table called last not null in which we have columns like ID and product quantity. Now, you can see that for ID 101, we have quantity as 1000. For ID 102, the quantity is 2000. But for ID 103, we do not have anything. We have null value. Correct? Now, my requirement is, wherever we find null values, we should populate the last not null value. Okay? So, for 103 ID, the last not null value is 2000 in product quantity column. Correct? Similarly, for 105, we have null. And for 105, the last not null product quantity value is 3000. So, uh, in my output, I should get 3000, right? In product quantity column, correct? Hope uh, the requirement is clear. Now, let's jump on SQL and see how we can execute this. So, I have already inserted the data in the last not null table which we have discussed just now and see so we need ID and product QTY okay now here we will use count as an analytical function okay and we will be doing the count on product quantity okay over order by ID okay as new count okay so let's execute and see what is coming interesting you can see that you have uh, we have total six rows correct but in the new count column we can see that we have maximum as four right now what is the reason behind that as I have already discussed in my previous lecture that whenever we are going for a count on and specifying any column name then I will get the total number of rows excluding nulls correct so here we have total six rows but two of them is having null values so those uh, null values count will be excluded from the total count and that is the reason we are getting the four as the maximum here right now you must have the another question that why we are getting two two times and three three times correct and the re and and the reason behind that is here we are using count as a analytical function okay now let's get our requirement so our requirement is that we should have the last not null value correct so let's write the query select id then i will use here first value okay first value of which column product qty okay over partition by new count okay partition by new count order by id right as new product qty correct from this okay let's make it a and get the result based on ID okay now let's execute this and see what is the output we are getting perfect so this is what the requirement was right as for 102 we we were having 2000 but for 103 we were having null right you can see for 103 we were having null so we want 2000 uh, in product quantity column for ID 103 right so that's what it is 103 2000 and 
again for 104 we were having 3000 and also for 105 we want 3000 as the last not null for id 105 was 3000 correct hope you like this video please share subscribe thank you